Hey, we're going to have to stop using Russ. He didn't look good last night. Mm -hmm. I mean, Steelers won the ball game, but it took a pick six and a scooping score in order for him to win by four points. And I understand that Deshaun was away from the game for two years. But when you have that kind of contract, the more money you make, the more is expected of you. I don't care the line of profession. It's just not with professional athletes, Stephen A. The guy that runs ESPN, there's more expected of him than you and I, Stephen A. Mm -hmm. So when you got $230 million and it's guaranteed, there's a lot expected of Deshaun Watson. Their offense was predicated on Nick Chubb being able to run the football. You fake the ball into his belly, and now you're throwing one-on-one -on -one outside. I haven't seen enough of the consistency from Deshaun Watson to make me think that he can carry the load. I remember when he was in Houston with less talent, how well he played. He's in a system now. He's in a, 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 on a team now that has more talent than he ever had at Houston. I need to see the old Deshaun Watson, not an old Deshaun Watson, the old Deshaun Watson. But I haven't seen enough to convince me that he can carry the load, Stephen. Well, first of all, nobody has seen it. Let's say you, you know what well, I know. Your eyesight is pretty damn. Good, it is. especially with those goggles. Yeah, yeah, we right here. They ain't, no be 2015. <laughs> 2015. ain't no question about that. Mm -hmm. And we got Deshaun Watson commit three turnovers last night. But let's be very, very clear about something here. Deshaun Watson, my brother, because I got love for this man. I'm rooting for this man to, to succeed on the football field. His off the court, tra off the field transgressions, mm -hmm. that's another matter. That's, all, that's on you. But let me say this to you Deshaun Watson does not look good. He you look it. pretty damn bad. Deshaun Watson, I need you to understand something right now. The passer rating of, what is it, 69.1. It ranks 30th out of 32 quarterbacks. Do you know who's worse than him? Zach Wilson and Bryce Young. That is it. And Bryce Young got an excuse because he's a rookie. rookie. He's a rookie and don't have any protection on that offensive yeah. line of Carolina. That's his excuse. Zach Wilson is another matter entirely. But that is the class that Deshaun Watson is being mentioned in. Let's keep in mind, not only does he have $230 million guaranteed with his contract, the Cleveland Browns gave up three first-round picks yes! in order to acquire him. So we got to remember that as well. Right now, I'm looking at this right now, his numbers. 55 uh, completion percentage, ranks 31st out of 32 quarterbacks. Only Zach Wilson is worse. Okay, and I already gave you in terms of his, you know, the, the passer rating being third worst. When you look at him right now, eight starts as a Brown, uh, Shannon. Watson is 4-4, four and four, having completed just 57% of his passes, nine TDs, nine turnovers. I mean, that's just embarrassing. No. At, at some point in time, again, I'm not about to sit here and use Russ as an excuse. I will say he came back last year. 13, week 13 of the season. Right. We get that. Right. But you had the entire offseason. Off you, you have have preseason. Camps, training camps. And, 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 and it's one thing for them to lose. It's another thing for you to look as bad as you look. And, by the way, not protecting the football in the process. I will say this. The first turnover, the pick six, I, yeah. uh, Stephen A., that was not his fault. Okay. The, I don't like the concept because they had the tight end outside. He runs a stop route. He's guarded man-to-man -man by Minkah Fitzpatrick. Bryant, Brian, the tight end, he sees Highsmith in a walk. That's telling him it's man coverage. So when he runs the stick route, he has to bust it out of there. But he sees the guy at the top. He sees Minka. Nice. So he's trying to hold up. Deshaun is trying to lead him. That was a bad concept. Mm -hmm. Schematically, Schematic. I put that on Stefanski. Okay. You don't run a stop with the stick route coming in behind it. You run a goal to clear to get him out of there so now he can bust it out on the stick route. Okay. So schematically, that's on Stefanski. But Deshaun Watson, when you got sacked, that's on you. That's right. That's how Smith is the ball. Score by, that's you. Got to protect the ball. He threw another bad interception in the end zone, and the guy just dropped it. Yep. He doesn't look good. And at some point in time, we've got to stop using rust. At some point in time, yes, but I, I will say this. The rust is a legitimate excuse at this point. It's only two games into the season, and I get but that. But he had six and games he, last year, Stephen A. He had six games last year. I get that, too. And you, no, and you said he had mini camp. Well, he had OTAs. That's right. He had training so camp. So he's got, he's got a lot of work to do. There's no How doubt about it. How much time are you going to give him? No, I'm not going to give him much time. I'm not going to give him much more time. Uh -huh. I will say this. I will say this. No. I'm going to give about two more weeks. I'm going to give about two more weeks. Not a month. I will say this, though. With Burrow, with Lamar Jackson yes. in the same division, especially with Burrow struggling, this is an opportunity for you to capitalize. Lamar ain't struggling. struggling. I know that. I don't talk about Burrow. I said okay. Burrow. Okay. I didn't say Lamar. Right. I said Burrow struggling. Yeah. And you already beat Burrow. But the point is your defense beat him. You didn't look the, good against correct. him. Correct. At some point in time, you're going to have to. No I doubt. can tell you this. Jimmy and D Haslam. The owner of the Browns aren't happy with this play. That's right. Now, they're not 
Because, like you said, they gave up three first-round picks. Yeah. Yeah. You moved heaven and earth. You yeah, most guaranteed the, money. Yes, and you mortgaged the large part of your future. And you have Amari Cooper. You have Peoples Jones. You have Njoku. N minus, now you're minus Nick Chubb with about 50% of your offense. Which means you got to do more. Which means you got to do more. And by the way, Shannon, you should be able to exploit the Raiders next week on the road. Yeah. And then after that, you go back to Houston. Who you want it out of. Yes. Shannon, okay, they'll be waiting for you. He's got to show up these next two weeks. Shannon, let me ask I'm you this. I'm two weeks. Okay. How much of it do you put on the simple fact that he was out of football for such a significant amount of time? Well, that had, obviously, that has something to do with it. But it wasn't like he wasn't just sitting around. I'm sure he was throwing the football. Even when he was in Houston the last year that he didn't play, he was running the scout team. Yeah. He just didn't start in the game. And I understand, practice is not the same as the game. But at some point in time, we can't keep using Russ as an excuse to see these poor performances that Deshaun keeps trotting out there. Right. Because he cost this team the, he cost this team okay. last night. They're one but, one. Without those two turnovers, Good. they're not losing that game. They're one and one on the season. They got three games before the bye. The last game before the bye is the three weeks from now against Baltimore. Okay. You've got Vegas and Houston to get your bearings under you to get ready for Baltimore, which you will need to you be. You better go into he, the bye three he, and two. He, he, you better go into the bye three and two. You better at, go. At, they better that's win at the next case. Few games. That's at worst, worst case. case Hopefully you'll be four and one. You like to think we can win all three of these games, Stephen A. But I'm I can see th them losing to Baltimore even if he's doing even if he's doing well. I can see him losing to Baltimore. But to your eye, you said he doesn't look the same. He, he doesn't, doesn't look good. Doesn't, so doesn't. what do you attribute that to? Have we ever seen a player have that amount of time off and come back and get back to the caliber that he once was? No. No. I mean, they're, 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 even in the pre, if you look at sometimes guys, uh, uh, because you have the whole offseason and mm -hmm. you come back and it takes a week or two. So you're asking a guy that's been away from, for two years. But, it, but you got to look beyond that because of the amount of money that he's making. And so the greater the money, the greater the expectations. That's what's so disappointing, guys, is the expectations that we have in Deshaun Watson because what we've seen from Deshaun Watson. Ready for this one, Shannon? Yes. Pittsburgh offense. Minus seven yards of offense in the fourth quarter last night. That's why they were chanting in the crowd for, for, for Matt Canada. Matt, they're chanting that the offensive coordinator needs to be fired. Now, who's thinking about the offensive coordinator? When you go into a game and you walk through the turnstiles and you're getting your pop and your popcorn and your hot dogs and you're, and you're getting drunk with tailgate parties and all of this other stuff, you're not thinking to highlight the offensive coordinator in a stadium. But that's what they were doing last night in Pittsburgh. At some point in time, Mike Thomas got to recognize – my brother, certain people got to go. Matt Canada has had ample opportunity. The only reason he was in that position to begin with, uh, Big Ben didn't necessarily like working with Todd Haley and somebody else, mm -hmm. okay? And you went there and you got Matt Canada. He liked, he liked working. Big ben, Big ben Roethlisberger is gone. He is retired. We will celebrate his induction into the Hall of Fame sooner than later. Matt Canada has got to go too conventional, too predictable, too pedestrian, mm -hmm. and you're not coming up with anything innovative. It's hurting Najee Harris. It's hurting Pickens. It's hurting Fryermuth. It's hurting everything. Yeah, he got to go. Do you agree with? He got to go. I do. I don't see them as true contenders because the play calling with Matt Canada and Ken, I mean, a combination of Kenny Pickett is just not good enough. As Stephen A. mentioned, they can't run the football. They got one play last night. And George Pickens made right. that play. 71 yards. And when you look at d defensively, and last night I was saying on, uh, on Nightcap with Ocho, is that I was saying Brian Flores. It's Terrell Austin, who's the defensive coordinator, yes. mm -hmm. who's done an outstanding job. Outstanding. The defense will keep them in a lot of games because of T.J. Watt is relentless. High Smith, and you got Minka Fitzpatrick. That's right. So they have guys that can keep you in a ball game. But the likelihood, Stephen, that you mentioned it, minus seven offensive yards in the fourth quarter. They had the three drives that lasted three plays. All, th all of their drives lasted three plays or less and, last and took only two minutes. Who, who, who you think? So that just goes to show you. Think about what you just said. Now, they had minus seven yards of offense in the fourth quarter. Their drives lasted three plays in only two minutes, and they beat the Cleveland Browns. And somehow people think Deshaun played well yeah. or he's playing well. But, no, to Stephen A's point, you are not going to – your defense is not going to get pick sixes and scooping scores on a regular basis. That was an anomaly. You got that, and you still only won by four points. Shannon, let me transition and ask you this, because we were lauding the AFC East, yes. the AFC North going into this season. Do you think the AFC North as a whole has taken a step back? It's been very disappointing because we were counting on the Cincinnati. A lot of people had the Bengals, like AFC championship game, potential Super Bowl. I know I did. 
you know, and, yeah. and everybody saw Kenny Pickett, the way he played down the stretch last year. Oh, they're going to be right there. Obviously, the Ravens look good. They're 2-0. and And then with uh, Cleveland with Deshaun Watson, we thought this was going to be, and it still may be. But looking at it right now, but you know what I'm thinking, Stephen A.? They might have to let these guys play in the preseason. Because guys are just coming in because you're asking guys, they're like, okay, we want you to go 30 miles an hour. And then come pre the regular season, we want you to go 150. And, it, it, and, it, and it, everything looks, you know, ev all the offense, with the exception of Miami, looks to be behind. Defensively, clearly has the lead. But I think that's something that the, the teams and ownership needs to look at. Guys, y'all might have to get these guys, let these guys play some. I know the, there is no greater risk now than it was back then, and we played in the preseason. No question. I have nothing to add to that. You're absolutely right about the AFC North. It's an incredible disappointment. I expected the Steelers to look better offensively. I'm very disappointed in how they've seen. They've seen impotent offensively. Obviously, Cincinnati, because of uh, Burrow's injury, that's something to be said. And then Deshaun Watson, again, we've already lamented that situation. The only legitimate team that looks legitimate in the AFC North is Baltimore. Yes. Mm -hmm. Odell Beckham Jr. is not healthy for right. them. Dobbins is already out, right. so they big compromise. So, yeah, somebody's got to win the division, the so they might end up doing it by default. The okay? Steelers? No, no, Ravens. Okay, okay. I'm saying yeah, the yeah, Ravens yeah, okay. might end yeah. up doing it by default. And right. so because that's by default, when you look at all these things, remember, we're looking at two legitimate Super Bowl contenders if they live up to expectations Correct. in Cincinnati and Baltimore. And now both of them are hobbled to a degree where in one in, yeah. in one case, they may not make the postseason. And in another case, even if they make the postseason, because of them being hobbled, we don't know how good they'll be. The AFC North has been a disappointment this far. Yeah, yeah it's a part of the game, but yeah. the injuries. Yeah, the Steelers just defense, they, they look legit, though. Yeah. Yes. Oh, no, I know oh, that. Yeah. I'm just legit. talking about the offense. Yeah. You know what I mean? Offense wins games. We're the offense wins championships. When offense wins games, they got to get you there. The days of the get Ravens you. in 2000, <laughs> the, the O2 Bucks, the Legion of Boom. Offense, you got to bring your offense. You gotta, they they you got to do something offensively.